Hey guys, I just got home from Rite Aid and I was thrilled when I saw they now have a sample section. I picked up this Physician's Formula BB Cream Sample, but they had samples of skincare, they had samples of mascara, they had shampoos. So you might want to check out your local Rite Aid if you're wanting to try something new and don't want to buy the full size. Happy Saturday everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful Easter weekend. My family and I celebrated yesterday. We had our big family dinner then. And today my daughter and I went out and did some shopping. I found some good deals at Marshall's and now I'm gonna sit here and have a nice hot cup of coffee and relax. Good morning. I hope everybody had a great Easter weekend. I'm sitting here waiting for my daughter to come and pick me up. I have an appointment today with my ophthalmologist and they always dilate my eyes, which means I can't drive once I leave there and pretty much ruins the rest of the day, really. But hey, on the bright side, the sun is shining and the birds are chirping and it's gonna be a beautiful day. You guys all have a great day. For those of you wondering about my appointment this morning with my ophthalmologist, um, I go every approximately six months to have my eyes checked because I have macular degeneration and I've had numerous retinal tears, lots of laser work, and for the most part, everything was fine today. I do have a, a little bit of an elevated pressure in my right eye, and he's gonna put me on a drop for that, but all in all, it was a good visit. And the dilation wasn't so bad today. I can actually see pretty good, and I managed to get outside and get the plastic eggs off my tree, so it's a good day. How's everybody doing today? I'm laying here trying to find some motivation. I got up early and went to a warehouse sale with my daughter. It was kind of a dud. Everything was overpriced. Now I'm just and now I'm just laying here trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my day or find some energy to find something to get into. I really want to go outside, but with the weather, I don't think that's going to happen, so I might just lay here and be lazy today. You are back in service, eighty five, ninety five, eighty five, ninety five, eighty five, ninety five, ninety five, ninety five, ninety five. It is freezing out here, guys. to pop on real quick before someone thought I was being disrespectful by photographing the Amish. Uh, there are a number of orders of Amish and Old Amish, New Amish, Beachy Amish, and Mennonite. There could be others. Those are the four that I know of. Anyways, and inside those groups, there are leaders and those leaders dictate as to what they can or cannot do. This particular group of Amish are very lax. Most of them have cell phones. Most of them have solar panels on their home, so they have lights. Um, they have gas-powered machinery on their farms. Um, many of them have phones not inside their homes, but mounted in a building outside their homes that they use. So they weren't upset that I was photographing them. We are sitting here in the parking lot of NTB because we have had our second blowout of the morning on our, t on our trailer. The first trailer tire that blew out, we had a spare to replace that one, but then the spare blew And then our spare blew out. So we're buying two new trailer tires, one to put on and one to use as a spare. And then last night, as we're loading the trailer, a sign falls over, hits me in the eye and cuts my eye. Good morning, everybody. We made it home safe and sound from the extravaganza. What a weekend it was. I think when I got hit in the eye with a sign while loading the trailer, we should have taken that as a omen and stayed home. Because if you watched my story on Thursday, you probably saw that we had two blowouts on our trailer on the way to the extravaganza. 
Then we had heavy rains both Thursday evening and Friday. We had record heat on Saturday. And Sunday, there was high winds forecasted. We packed up and left early. Attendance was great, but sales were down not only for us, but all the other vendors at the show. And sales were just down for everyone in general at the show. I'm not quite sure if the weather had anything to do with it. I think it probably did. I don't know. But anyways, on the bright side, the fair food was amazing. And I think maybe that just made up for everything. You guys all have a great day. I'm going to see if I can get myself motivated. Good morning, everybody. No shame to the morning hair and face game. But anyhow, I'm going to sit here and have myself my gummy vitamin and a cup of coffee. And then I'm going to head outside. I hope and you guys something. will have a great weekend. Happy Memorial Day. And I think I hear the edger. My husband beat me outside. See you guys later. I'm just taking five for mulching. I thought I'd share the view. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here today.